let's get started with our today's first topic that is importing and exporting terrain models there are numerous file formats that are supported by open roots designer which can be imported into the ord for creating of terrain now i'll switch to the open roots designer to demonstrate how you can import a terrain model so here i have opened a blank dgen file one thing to note that for creating any terrain models it is always recommended to use a 3d dgen file so while creating a new file make sure that you have selected a 3d seed file for now i'll go to the terrain and from file option i will select a one of the terrain model that i want to import for example here i have selected this survey land xml file that i want to be imported in this dgen file so i'll select the survey and click on done so in the import terrain dialog box we have the opportunity to select a feature definition for the imported terrain models so it is recommended to set your feature definition while importing the terrain itself so here i will set my feature definition as existing triangles and i will click on open once the process of importing terrain is completed you can click on fit view to view your terrain model so as you can see the terrain is imported using the land xml file i'll switch back to the presentation to discuss the static and dynamic rules while working in open roads designer it is important to understand what are the static and dynamic rules and how they play important role in upgrading our terrain files so static rules are basically created when we use some of the import from file tool ascii import tool or point cloud tool etc whereas the dynamic rules get created when we use a survey or we create a terrain from element or we use a complex terrain or clip terrain models static rules does not get automatically updated if there is any change in the original data source whereas the dynamic rule terrain models will get automatically updated depending upon the how element changes the static rules are intended for the larger terrain models only whereas the dynamic rules are intended for the small terrains like a proposed corridor terrain models i'll quickly switch back to the open roads designer to demonstrate the static rule so for example in this case for importing this terrain model i have selected a from file tool so this terrain model has a static rule associated to it so if we click on the terrain model we can see in the properties dialog box it lists the source data so if there is any change in the source data that date update will not get incorporated into this terrain model automatically in order to make changes into this terrain model we'll need to go ahead and update the data source so in order to update the data i'll click on the terrain model and once the pop up menu occurs i will click on update from the source once the process is done the terrain model will get updated according to newly added terrain data if you found this video helpful please give it a like If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.